Hi everyone, it's time for Fan Mail Friday, our favorite time of the week. And why is it our favorite time? Well, it's because we got to hear from you. And boy, the mail is so beautiful around here. It should be this way for every one of us, right? These envelopes, these messages, like just got it. You got to know that your creativity, when, when completed and sent, is such a joy to myself and everyone around you. So uh, I'm starting out with Lenita um, Princess from Miami and her beautiful flower shop card. Look at that, stop and smell the roses because she's wishing me a happy Fur Moms Day. Thank you for that. Uh, I, you know, who knows about the, the mail these days. Here we are on the last Friday of May and oh wow, it's, you know, that took a, that took a month to get here. What's going on? I saw a funny thing, since we like to talk about the post office during Fan Mail Friday, I did see a commercial for the United States Postal Service, um, and because I like to watch HGTV, so they're advertising on cable about their package express service, right, where it's, a, it's inexpensive, and they show this woman taking the package from here to there, and it, it gave me some faith in our system, but let me just tell you, I don't know what's going on. It's still not happening. Checks don't get there. Checks, like things, like business doesn't happen. Fan Mail Friday doesn't happen because the stuff doesn't ever get here. It takes a month. <clears throat> okay, let's transform that. What do you think? All right, now uh, our, our A number one Fan Mail Friday participant, Anita Bartosik from California, my goodness, look at this. She is showing us, this is actually for Richard, Richard Hayes, um, that decorating the outs, it's not just about the outside of the card, it's about the inside of the card too, and how fantastic uh, that you guys are friends and that you love making things and, and talking to one another. I'll, I take credit for that friendship. Yes, I do. Now, Zarina is, the, this is her first Fan Mail Friday uh, card. Isn't that fun with the wildflower uh, meadow dyes? And so she says she's a new card maker. Wow, you don't look like it. Um, and wanted to thank you for the beautiful products. Isn't that fun? Uh, so you have a vintage, this is a vintage sentiment from uh, some of our very first card making kits. So that means either that came, mm, where where did you get this, uh, Zarina? Uh, how fun. Um, I'm glad that you're enjoying all the things. Okay, and so then I got two cards um, from Barbara, and I'm going to show them both to you at the same time. Isn't that fun? Uh, this one, the flower cart lemonade cart. Uh oh, it says puck. I'm going to put this back. Um, it says pucker up buttercup. Okay, how cute. And she says and on the envelope with summer around the corner, I thought you needed this. I love it. I love it so much. And then this one is all a giant thank you for Create Crop at Home for. Um, she had a great time and she learned so much. And uh, she says, uh, she, we, we gifted this to her. Um, isn't that nice? Uh, so she's made all kinds of cards for Sunday Share and Fan Mail Friday, but she lacked the confidence in her skills until now and until me. So, gosh, Barbara, thank you so much. Uh, and you're, this is, she, she says that uh, her cousin came to visit last weekend and she's now one of our newest fans. And she's also, um, She's, uh, she has uh, ordered the Empress and some boxes and um, she's gonna have someone to share her crafting with um, come to, uh, uh, maybe all the way to Create 10 in November. Thank you, Barbara, that's really fun. Really, really fun and so creative. Uh, that's right, make, make some friends. Love, love that. Uh, okay, so this I uh, love love this. This is from uh, right Carmen and Carmen, the little kitty cat, and some beautiful die cuts. Thank you for your letter, Carmen. I'm hoping that everything by this point in time has worked itself out. Um, she's in Burbank, and this went. This was mailed to us April 13th. It's May 31st. 
Okay, but everything, Carmen, uh, if, if, if it has not worked out, uh, all the things that you are looking for, um, you do let us know. Our customer service department is here to help, okay? Uh, very good. Now, Julie, so beautiful with the easel card, and uh, thank you for bringing joy to my life. Oh, I love it. And uh, Julie, I think, has had the mystery box because this is from the mystery box. Uh, she, has, she wanted to share the impact I've had on her life and she's always crafted um, and she's always done it with friends and she uh, life has just been incredibly busy for her my goodness so being able to make cards and scrapbooks uh, and hoarding your beautiful products she found us again on HSN was thrilled and she's done crop at home and create so how fantastic so Julie thank you for sending that now, Laura, uh, Laura has um, determined that this is the special card. This is a blast from the past from us, so is this. Uh, she says, Dear Anna, first time sending a fan mail Friday card. Uh, started out on the front of this card sometime long ago with the pink dress and always wondered who I would give it to. And then she saw the fashion stickers with a similar pink dress and the opportunity to complete the card and send it to me. Oh, how fun. So that's a little printout of the, our fashion sticker photo from, uh, from HSN. Isn't that interesting? Okay, well, there she is in the pink dress. Ah, oh, may we all have one like that, that gorgeous dress. Uh, Cindy, she uh, also has had the mystery box, I can tell by your new stationery. Uh, so the April mystery box is jaw dropping and you can't possibly keep this up. <laughs> Oh, yes, I can. Oh, I'm so excited about it. We have, um, for those of you that are watching this and don't know about our Mystery Box series, it's a monthly auto ship uh, that has been offered on our AGTV shows. So that's Anna Griffin Television. We have uh, two shows a month uh, right here uh, on our website, and I uh, would encourage you to watch. And it's it's so fun live. We give away things. We, sh we talk about products. We show, I show you how to make things. Um, but that mystery box was part of our our big offering this year and it's it's basically all the things that we have limited quantity of in our warehouse um, we put it together in a way that you would experience things that you might not have known that we made um, from finished greeting cards to stationery uh, all the things kind of go together by theme um, and and it's a really great way to get a whole lot of things for a lot less money uh, so there you go but it is it does sell out each month so there you go uh, next next AGTV is June 12th June 12th and then we'll be looking at uh, some previous mystery boxes and we'll be opening uh, orders for that mystery box on the 12th okay Jean look at this Jean and her stamps now these are fun and these are from um, some of the beginning things look at that all from the beginning mix and match folders she says uh, thank you so much for the April mystery box my first it was uh, crammed with uh, fantastic goodies and I love the impression dies that's what this is uh, so exciting and shout out to Claire McDonald um, who suggested using the color box inks and she found her Anna Griffin inks and she found all kinds of fun things uh, to be playing with um, she says, oh, wow, she's going to be, oh, she's soon to be, she's pushing 80 years old. My goodness, congratulations. Uh, so I, I love it. So she's making all kinds of things. Uh, my generosity, wow, thank you for yours in sending that and making that, and we love being part of your your crafting experience. Now, uh, one, one of the members of our community, Penny Como, she is a, a, one of the cornerstones of our community. Look at this, she sends me a thank you card. Uh, so many thank yous, she writes. Uh, she uh, won one of our March giveaway boxes for the craft month and we honored her as crafter of the week and she met so many new people and uh, then she had uh, the best time ever at crop at home for uh, and what's so nice penny is that you know we those events would not be the same without you and your incredible talent as a poet and um, so thank you for sending that to me it's full circle yes
Uh, Miss Sarah Wrangle Murphy, oh, you're so beautiful. This little card from the Simply Wildflower Kit came and she says, what an amazing event. And so she was talking about Crop at Home for as well. Your intentions of connection and gratitude and joy were met beyond expectation. Uh, and thank you for inviting me uh, to be the guest. She was our very last guest uh, on the, at the event and she can go on and on about how much she learned and, and received and all the friends that she made in the craft room, but simply put, I adore you, my friend. I raise, I raise a very large glass of wine to you and your team for an incredible weekend. Oh, thank you. That's just Korean, uh, you know, very large glass of wine. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, Doreen, look at, we also have Simply Wildflower dyes going with this as well. So beautiful, Anna Griffin and team. Thank you for Crop at Home 4. Oh, that, this is whole, I made this whole pile of Crop at Home 4 thank you notes. This one's from Marie Fix. Isn't that beautiful? And she's uh, sit, sitting in the afterglow of the event. So, um, so I love that. Yeah, she's, she's also shouting out to our incredible team that put that together. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Now, Danielle, look at this, the paper sneakers. Oh, so great. Look, it looks fantastic with my shirt, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, I think I'm wearing a pajama top today. Um, she says, you're the queen of crafting and crafting events, and she's already looking forward to Create 10. She also had a mystery box. Um, she says, I want to express my genuine appreciation for all the hard work and dedication um, that requires to host such an event, and you and your uh, team excel at creating an unforgettable experience. She gifted the entire album that she made to her nephew's fiance at her bridal shower on May the 18th. Wow, wow. She said she was uh, especially um, excited about the interactive pages and wow. She not only did she make it, she gifted it, she completed it and gifted it within a week of the event. That is something else. Danielle, we need to hear more from you. Okay, so she's in Maryland. Danielle Vane, all right, note to self, gonna reach out to you, gonna hear more about that. Love it. Okay, now next we have Lorraine and her very special um, uh, Salon Nouveau card for me. And she, uh, she says, uh, thank you for National Craft Month and all the, this, this Art Nouveau set was her favorite of all time. She enjoyed Crop at Home 4. And oh my goodness. Uh, so we're thinking about you and your husband. He's been cancer free for two years and now he's having a little setback and she hopefully that's that it's small. I hope so too. Yes, I do. So thank you for saying this. Uh, we are, uh, she is looking forward to Create 10 already. Mm, my goodness. Speaking of, of Create 10, um, it, our tickets are going on sale on June the 8th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. So if you're watching and you're hearing about uh, whatever this is, uh, Create 10 is the 10th annual uh, Anna Griffin Create events, a paper crafting event, November 8th, 9th, and 10th. Uh, hence the June 8, 9, and 10 for the ticket launches. Um, there are so many of it, people that joined us for our scrapbooking event that they had an opportunity to get their tickets early. Um, but uh, we're going to be opening ticket sales on the 8th, so watch out for that. Uh, we're getting really excited around here already for that three-day live stream. Okay, Lynn Walsh, look at that, so beautiful. I saved this one out because um, what she wrote on the inside about the wild wildflower meadow dies was that it reminded her of her grandmother's repousse sterling pattern and it was passed on to her for a wedding gift and do you know I, I don't know if you heard me share about that during the presentation but that's exactly my inspiration for the die set was repousse um, because I also was lucky enough to be gifted that sterling pattern um, by my mother on my wedding uh, on the occasion of my wedding you know the one that didn't last but there you go uh, 
Love it. Love it. Love the card. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, okay, next, so Joanne, so pretty. Little, um, pretty little pleated ribbon there on the card. Thank you for a fabulous weekend. She loved it, too. Um, she's followed us since 1995, making double-page layouts from the local scrapbook store. Um, and she gave me uh, bath bombs, uh, macaroon bath bombs, um, because I need a little uh, downtime. Hopefully relax. Uh, it's now time to rest. I, yeah, I got I got some good rest uh, last week, so yes, very good. Janet, oh look at Janet's beautiful. Like, I hope everybody's noticing these rub-ons on everything. So beautiful. Uh, May fifteenth was a great day for the first time. She was able to watch AGTV at Handsome Creations live, which she's not usually able to do, and she won the Wingtips Finishing School craft box, and she's paying it forward um, to another Griffinite. She sent me this lovely present that she found at an antique store. I love this, uh, Kitty, and look what she made with the paper wingtips. Adorable. Oh, and more rub-ons. Oh, wow, so fantastic. So she says, I too love a well-dressed man. That was a fun show, wasn't it? Oh, I was talking about boy toys and all kinds of stuff. Um, so while I enjoy dressing more casually now, I do miss the days of business formal. And she, um, her, her career started more than 40 years ago, and men and women wore suits to work every day. And she would, her personality would shine through with with funky, funky shoes and um, uh, red and white zebra striped pumps. Wow. Okay. Very exciting. Uh, so very nice to, to hear from you. And uh, oh, she's so, okay. So she's also from Maryland. Um, oh, the, the, this came from an antique store in Maryland. So fun. Okay, so Janet, I think we're gonna have to connect you with our other friends from Maryland right here on this table. Okay, all right. Now, Jane, uh, look, Jane uses the faded rose for a beautiful card. Isn't that something? The, the, um, she loved uh, that we gifted uh, Create Crop at Home to um, her friend, Stacy, an and Arizona Griffin gal. And Jane is showing off her new stationery from us. Uh, she said she bought a few patterns because she couldn't decide which one she wanted. And then we got to hear from Stacy uh, as a lovely thank you for uh, her experience at Crop at Home 4. And look at this, she made this lovely perfume box. This was from Create 9. Um, this is a neat die set if you haven't seen this. We made this project in the event. But inside, she says, this is from her trip to China. A very special little gift for me. I wonder, is he good luck? Or is it, what? I need to know more about this, Stacy. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, last but certainly not least, um, we have, <laughs> we spent a great deal of time uh, musing over the Tex Anna's group in Texas during our Crop at Home of Four event. And gosh, they were so, so excited to be together and to do the event. And they had planned activities and dress up and so many things. Well, they have sent me uh, an interactive card and I love this. Kitty says, one says, Crop at Home 4 is over. And this kitty says, what the hell? And if you were there, uh, you know. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. <laughs> You're the cat's pajamas. This was our interactive page uh, extravaganza that we did for scrapbooking, adapted into uh, a greeting card. And that is all fun and games right here, filled with cat memes. And thank you for allowing us to share some of the fun that we had. Um, and all the girls that got together, it was just so fun. Look, they. They made a tree full of ornaments and tags that was a tag swap. And I actually got the tags and I'm going to show them to you. So this is a, a copy of the tags we passed out and they were inspired by the Create Nine tag class and we hung them on a tree for display um, and a beautiful zippered pouch that Donna made uh, for their Roaring Twenties feather make and take. Okay, I love that. Okay, so look at this. Each one, isn't this adorable? This is this is Donna. 
Okay, Donna has a little card. I think there's a picture. There is a picture. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And look, look, every one of these, so beautiful. And on the back, there we go, Roncia. I think there's a picture of her too. Yes, ma'am. Love it. Oh, you even had lanyards at this thing. My goodness. A little special stuff about her. I love that. The, there's her birth date and her kids and all the things and, and even her address. And so that is a great way to introduce yourself to people, right? Just put all of it, put all that love into a tag. Uh, and, and so we keep it. I love it. All right, Miss Candy. Of course, we have Martha. Look, there's Martha and her, and her avatar. And oh, and her birthday. So we can send her a birthday card. I love, love, love that. Okay just adorable and look okay it just gets it just gets more fun so this one this is uh, uh dina and look there's a little picture of dina and it had a little pocket i think you're getting a lot of really creative ideas right i think we are look oh who do you think that is pam i love it okay there's god's daughter two grown fabulous children Oh, look at this. Crop at Home 4, creative retreat, flower shop happening right there. Oh, look at this. Oh, how fun. Okay, it comes out. There we go. Uh, look at that. Blessed. There we go. Marilyn, how fun. I love it. I have to put it back because I don't want to, I don't want to separate all this great stuff and oh wait look we have we have Eve and the Texanas Eve I don't think I've ever seen your husband how fun or is that your boyfriend let's see um mm, okay oh, she says I'm getting old no okay there's no mention of this gentleman in the field of flowers oh wait maybe there is okay no Eve okay you're gonna have to tell me what that's all about um, okay and look all these wonderful things they made feather headbands they're all these wonderful things that have been cut and made and the pouch was made and oh wow did they have fun uh, uh, okay I love it I love it so much um, we're gonna put this out front with all the things that we have from every Griffinite on the planet right there so we can look at it every single day and remember you and your creativity and your enthusiasm. We, uh, we, we, we live with all these beautiful things um, here in our office. So thank you from all of us to all of you for sending these things and we'll see you again next week. Bye for now.